Get ready to move the load. Everybody forward. Shall we bring your guest aboard, I eh, Alan? Yes. Precious cargo, that is. What do we do with him? We dump him discreetly at the bottom of the hold. Get ready to manoeuvre. Alan, we're ready. I'll be in the crew's quarters. Casting up! Who's this dog belong to? What dog? Ah. So, matey, how'd you like your new quarters? Who are you? Where are you taking me? On a nice cruise. Travel broadens the mind, don't you agree? Do you work for the Bird Brothers? The Bird Brothers are no longer a problem. They were even quite, shall we say, cooperative. My boss wants the other one. Where is it? Sorry, gentlemen. Can't help you. <sighs> Did you search him? Yep. Yeah, Tintin. Press card and that's it. No scroll. Hmm. Shall we chuck him overboard? Okay, genius. I'll let you explain that one to the boss. Lieutenant! Not now. You need it. It's the captain. He's, uh... <sighs> what, again? He's gone off the deep end. <sighs> All right, I'm coming. If I were you, I'd start talking now, before we make port. This heat's insufferable. It's wet. I wonder where this boat's going. this direction.
This place is enormous. Hey, you there! Hi! Now! Oh, oh! Next time, I'll ask for a bigger size. What? <sighs> I'm looking forward to having a little chat with this Alan. These scrolls have got to mean something. Can't wait to get off this tub. We've got the scroll. Mission at work. Oh. <coughs> these gears. Is 
that? Please, keep what? quiet, all right? All it's okay. Right? Everything's fine. Who are you? Uh, me? No one. Don't mind me. I'm already gone. Were you talking to someone, Captain? Uh, uh, no one. So, Captain, what's all this fuss Alan, about, then? I'm sick of being holed up in here. What's wrong? You got a nice cabin? I'm hauled up in the hold. And what I want is my boat back. My boat. I don't think that's a good idea. But I'm the captain. Sure you are. But you know full well. What? Your family has never been very good with ships. Uh, and we know why. Oh, the curse. Precisely. Listen, the ship's in good hands with me, but you'll get it back soon. I just need the helm for this little operation. Uh, listen, I was just saying to Tim... Me? I was telling Tim that we need you. Huh? There you go. Red is for longitude, blue for latitude. Crayons! Be a sport and calculate our heading for the next two hours, eh? You think I'm a fool? Scoundrel! Imposter! Have fun now. I've got a passenger to deal with. What sort of passenger? An unwelcome one. Remember, red for latitude, 
blue for longitude. But you said the opposite, Chief. Uh, go make a plank, then walk it. Who was that? Was it Alan? Where was he going? Um, up top. To the wheelhouse. In the control room. Is oh. it true that you're the captain of this ship? Sea legs back under me, that's all. Uh.
Three brothers joined. Three unicorns in company. Why did you decide to stick your nose in my affairs? You're the ones who forced me to come along. Uh, well, if you give me your scroll, you can get off my ship at the next port. You're lying, and this is not your ship. Ah, oh, so you met Haddock. Well, he isn't the captain anymore. He's what you might call a shipwreck. Haddock? The captain's name is Haddock! Come and fight! Give me your scroll! What's so special about them? Coming to him. <sighs> ah, here's the second scroll. That's the scroll he stole from the Bird Brothers. And now I'm going to put things straight with that Captain Haddock. If there's some link between him and Sir Francis Haddock, there's a high chance he can help us. Three brothers. We know that there are three scrolls. Mine, the Bird Brothers. Let's think, Snowy. I don't know who Alan works for, but I'm willing to bet he's got the third scroll. Captain, are you the descendant of Sir Francis Haddock? Captain of the triple-masted unicorn under King Charles II. Huh? Who are you again? My name is Tintin. I'm a reporter. I have in my possession two scrolls handwritten by the very same Sir Francis Haddock. I'm in search of treasure. The long-lost treasure of the unicorn. That's enough! I don't want to talk about all that! Alan! Alan is a bandit. He's double-crossed you so he can take command of your ship. And you know it. I'm going to have you put in irons! Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. <sighs> Captain, ooh. I can help you. As much as you can help me. Just tell me what you know.
It is the year 1676. The Unicorn, a valiant ship of King Charles II's fleet, has left Barbados in the West Indies and set sail for Europe. The captain is indeed my ancestor, Sir Francis Haddock, to my great misfortune. Two days at sea, a good stiff breeze, and the unicorn is reaching on the starboard tack. Suddenly, there's a hail aloft from the crow's nest. Sail on the port bow! <sighs> the Jolly Roger. Pirates. Worse. Red Rackham. The wind's in their favour. We've got to outsail them. She's over Man the poop. Stand by to haul to the wind. Then we shall fight. Gunners to your stations. Fire! We put a hole through our ship. But it wasn't enough. Prepare to be boarded. They're swarming over the side. No quarter. Who is that, Captain? The devil. I wish it were, Mr. Legenek. I wish it were. Two timing tartar twisters. Loverly scum. Show yourself, pirate vermin. Pirates, we're under attack! You fat heads! Surrender! Ah! Blistering barnacles! Yeah. Just like a swamp! Oh! 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 Yeah! 
to get out of here alone.
has to die for a ship. I should have! And my ancestor, too. Your ancestor? Why? How does his story end? He fled. Like a coward. Abandoned his own ship. And destroyed it. He sacrificed his crew. Thing, don't you, boy? I'm working on it. second in command. Whoa! 